Hi friends, in this video we will discuss one more square prism but here this is entirely different and interesting question. Uh, if you wish to see the previous uh, uh, questions or previous square prism videos you can check the link for description in the description box. Read the question a square prism side of base 32 mm and 100 mm height lying on its base on HP. So with this I can say base on HP top use the square. What is the position of square? such that the edges of the base are equally inclined to VP. So I have to make sure that two sides of the square has to be equally inclined to XY. So both the sides, two sides has to be marked 45 degree with respect to XY or with respect to VP. The prism is cut by a section plane passing through the midpoint of the axis. They said section plane is passing through the midpoint of axis such that the true shape of section is a rhombus. Of diagonals of 1 or 2 mm and 45 mm. Determine the inclination of the section plane with VP. We discussed five problems in the previous cases. Every problem they said what is the section plane inclination. Here they never mentioned anything related to uh, section plane inclination. They instead of that they given us what is the true shape? True shape is the rhombus of diagonal 1 or 2 and 45 mm respectively. So based on this concept, we have to proceed our problem. So first draw the xy. In the xy which is uh, uh, top view is the square. Top view has to be drawn by means of 45 degree inclination. Both the sides, this both sides has to be drawn for 45 degree inclination. Both the sides of square has to drawn with respect to 45 degree to xy then the side it is 32 mm so top square it is a uh, a b c d e a b c d p q r s is the bottom square or base of the square prism extend the projectors complete the top view complete the top view the height it is 100 mm and it is 32 always remember before completing the uh, which one uh, section plane or draw all the uh, front and top view by means of uh, thin lines uh, being <laughs> answer is known to me I have drawn this uh, top view as thick line so always for you guys draw uh, by means of thin lines now uh, complete the notation p dash q dash r dash s dash in the bottom face and a b c d in the top face what is the midpoint of axis 100 so midpoint is 50 now I have to cut this uh, front view such a way that I can obtain rhombus. So rhombus of diagonal 1 or 2 mm. If I cut this uh, square like this towards the midpoint of this, I can obtain the rhombus. Okay. So what for, for that what we can do is take this midpoint as m dash. Now m dash as center uh, 1 or 2. So half of 1 or 2 is 51. Half of 1 or 2 is 51 m dash as center 51 as radius cut this a dash p dash this is a dash this is p dash a h longer edge you can cut this a dash p dash longer edge by means of using m dash as center this a dash p dash m dash as center 51 as radius to cut this longer edge a dash p dash and another longer edge is c dash r dash again the m dash, m dash as center same 51 as radius cut this c dash r dash draw an arc to cut this both this and final we complete the section plane so once again i repeat m dash as center 51 as radius how we obtain 51 half of 1 or 2 51 as radius cut both a dash p dash as well as c dash r dash now you can draw a section plane passing through the cutting point of a dash p dash and m through m dash join m dash c dash cutting point this is this final section plane now the section plane is completed with this uh, i can identify the removed and remaining portion so the bottom of is the remaining portion i can convert the remaining portion into thick lines and similarly if you extend the uh, cutting points this is one dash first section plane cut point this is the next section plane cut point at m dash this is next section plane cut point so two dash before that uh, being this is one dash here it is one similarly next check this is two dash and this is uh, two and here it is the three c dash r dash is the third cutting point three dash here it is three 
and next one is uh, this uh, d d dash sorry s dash d dash s dash d dash i am having four so this being hidden it is marked in the bracket four dash so as per the section plane if you extend the end point of uh, section plane one dash and three dash this entire square is the apparent shape of section nothing but sectional top view so do hatching for that already uh, it is in thick planes no need to convert it again so simply join one two three four by means of thick planes do the hatching what is the next step after the com completion of uh, hatching in the sectional top view draw the x1 y1 which is parallel to the section plane imaginary plane of projection or x1 y1 reference line and extend the uh, projectors extend the projectors from one dash here check if i have a sufficient space on this side i may use to draw here but there is no sufficient space for me there so no need to extend from here you place a scale from three dash exactly 90 degree to this x1 y1 place a scale and then uh, don't uh, overlap that projector on this top view so after beyond that top view you can draw the projectors by keeping the scale on three dash you can extend the projector uh, no need to overlap which means overwrite on this uh, top view so that is why i started from here the same projector if you measure the distance inclination with respect to x1 y1 it is 90 degree now we know the procedure i have to mark from x y what is the distance of one complete it on the one dash one dash projector so marked one one so next one is two mark the distance from x y from x y mark the distance of 2 complete it on 2 dash projector here it is 2 dash this is the 2 dash projector mark 2 1 Fine. next one is 3 so from x y mark the distance of this 3 complete it on the 3 dash projector this is 3 dash projector 3 1 similarly complete 4 1 on the 4 dash projector this is 4 dash projector mark the distance from x y now you can join all these things 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 sorry 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 and do the hatching for this this is the uh, true shape of section rhombus but there is a condition in our question what is the condition rhombus of diagonal 1 0 2 and 45 now you can measure the distance of uh, this diagonals this is 1 0 2 mm this uh, smaller diagonal it is uh, 2 1 2 4 1 this is 45 after measuring this you can verify whether our answer is correct or right or wrong okay now this is the true shape of section this is sectional top view sectional top view and true shape of section before that one more is read the question determine the inclination of the section plane with vp so we know that uh, section plane is completed you can draw a simple uh, projector line thin line and use the protractor place the protractor exactly on this three dash point mark the inclination of section plane identify this is theta is equal to 64 degree so we can say easily what is the inclination with respect to hp the section plane is 64 degree inclination of section plane with theta whenever the question is start always don't forget to write down your answers at the end okay so this is entirely different problem they have given us what is the true shape exactly okay given us the true shape exactly based on the true shape of section we completed the section plane after completing the section plane you can identify the inclination make sure that major diagonal has 1 or 2 mm of major diagonal of rhombus and 45 mm as minor diagonal of rhombus if, if we obtain this our answer is correct there are a lot of problems like uh, in cube we can obtain a hexagon without any section plane conditions and in pentagonal pyramid we can obtain isosceles triangle in case of cone we can obtain both uh, parabola and uh, isosceles triangle so these are all the interesting problems uh, without any inclination of section plane the final true shape will be given you wish to see see those uh, uh, videos like uh, cube hexagon uh, indigo and parabola and uh, which one uh, isosceles triangle you can subscribe to this channel for further videos if this video is uh, useful and easy for you to understand this question you can like and share with your 
friends for them to learn and still if you have any queries or doubts you can ask through comment box to switch on the notification you can click the bell button bell icon okay bye bye we will see you in the next video thank you